Hi, and welcome back. In lecture 33 and 34, we learned about the Arduino Ethernet shield and connected your Arduino to the internet. In this lecture, we'll again connect the Arduino to the internet, but we'll do that using Wi-Fi and go completely wireless. There are a lot of shields and breakout boards that provide Wi-Fi functionality with varying prices. Shields that provide Edo 2.11n capability can sell for over $100 with bells and whistles like external antennas and onboard SD card modules. I personally go for breakout boards whenever possible because usually they offer a lower price point, a modular and smaller package and a single function per board which makes it easier to learn and integrate into my projects. For this lecture, I chose the Adafruit CC3000 breakout board with an onboard ceramic antenna. This product also comes as a shield and with a connector for an external antenna if you need extended range. At around $35, it offers 802.11 ANG connectivity, very small size, a nice library, and lots of documentation. In this lecture, I'm going to go through three demos. In the first one, we'll connect the CC3000 to the Arduino and run one of the library's examples to make sure that it works and that it can connect to a Wi-Fi router. In the second demo, I'll show you how to create a Wi-Fi web client whereby the Arduino will be polling a URL and fetching a file that contains instructions for turning an LED on and off. The polling method has an advantage over the web server method because it is not affected by firewall or NAT restrictions. This means that by polling an external URL to your local network, you will be able to control your Arduino from anywhere in the internet without having to configure your router to allow access to the Arduino from the outside world. In the third demo, I will show you an adapted version of demo 2 from lecture 38, where we had a web server running on the Arduino, showing us a simple user interface through which we could turn an LED on and off.